I stumbled upon this interesting video the other day talking about the 2011 Japan. Remember the big tsunami that hit? They believe it was an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean and all that nonsense. Well, they believe it was absolutely man-made. See, I heard years ago people became suspicious about that tsunami because of the black soot and dirt that came flooding up first. And basically that black soot is off the bottom of the ocean, the deep bottom of the ocean, and they believe that powerful bombs were exploded like it was all man-made. Now there's no doubt that what they're actually doing is they are experimenting or testing out how many powerful bombs are to be used and what is the effect of those bombs. If you remember the 2004 tsunami that hit around the Indian Ocean, and it killed like over a hundred thousand people. Well, there is a lot of investigators that believe that was absolutely man-made. Basically, all they have to do is detonate a bunch of powerful bombs out in the ocean and cause a huge tsunami, and they can call it an earthquake all they want. No one can prove it, right? Except in the 2011 tsunami, people became very suspicious because of the black soot that is only found on the deep bottom of the ocean. They believe powerful bombs were actually used. What I find interesting, if you go to YouTube and you type in like 2004 tsunami man-made, there's actually quite a few videos that cover this conspiracy. Here's one right here, tsunami from blasting underwater explosion compilation. Look at this, one year old, got 2.7 million views. Now I find that fascinating. There are millions of people curious at the fact that these could be man-made disasters. Like again, I think what they're doing is they are experimenting with these powerful explosions to try to figure out how many bombs need to be used in order to cause a 200-foot tidal wave because that is what is coming to America sometime in the future. If you remember, there is a handful of Christians over the few decades that have had these disturbing dreams and visions where they see a massive tsunami that hits the lower half of the United States during the same time of this massive earthquake that splits it in half. I think basically what they're going to do, they're going to have a big plasma ball energy weapon. It's going to come streaking through the sky as part of the deception, and then they'll detonate a bunch of powerful bombs and create this huge, massive tidal wave that's just going to devour most of Florida, the lower half of the United States. They need this big horrific disaster to bring America down. And there's no doubt right now they know how many powerful bombs need to be used, how far out at sea, in order to cause a 200 foot massive tidal wave to hit the United States. And if you want to know the technology that they're going to use to deceive the world with their big fake asteroid, just go type in Russia Meteorite 2015, and you can see this is some kind of plasma ball energy weapon, Nikolai Tesla technology. This is not a real rock falling from the sky. This will be most likely the technology only on a much larger scale, like a hundred times the size of this plasma ball energy weapon. So if we saw one in 2004 and we saw one in 2011, we might even see another one before the big disaster in America. We might see one hit China in the next few years. But just remember, when it happens, you need to question, is this a man-made disaster? When you start looking at some of these dates, like 311, this tsunami that hit in 2011 just happened to hit on 311. But we know that 3 times 11 is 33, and that is the occultic's favorite number. They like to mock Christ. When Christ was crucified on the cross, they love that number, 33. What other people have pointed out about the Japan's supposed 9.1 or 9.0 earthquake is that a lot of the infrastructures were not damaged. In other words, what they're saying is it wasn't a real 9.0 or a 9.1 earthquake. Your television might have told you it was, but that doesn't mean it actually was.